I have another record that's about to do on daily streams outstream Champagne and Sunshine. My record, Coffin. So Coffin, this is a really cool marketing conversation. It, Coffin did two to 3,000 streams a day. It was a track three on the Hellbound EP. I didn't want to release it. I had it in the banks for two years. I thought it was bad. <laughs> I like it. I can't. First, listen, I'm like, this is a banger. Yeah, I, I can't a and r myself. I, you know, it's it's really hard to be objective with your own music. Um, yeah. So the anime music video community on YouTube it just lost their minds over it. They start. I mean, there's like even to this day. I mean, it's now peaking. There's like 200 to 400 anime edits a day on YouTube of that song. Uh, oh my god. And for whatever reason, it's just it's got like that that sort of signature platinum thing where it's like really bravado and maximal, and and this one just resonated with that community. And so a record for that for its first ten months did nothing is now doing well over a hundred thousand streams a day, and you know it's all because of anime edits and now the broader viral infrastructure. So that's just why you got to take as many at bats as you can. You never know how your music's going to be consumed. You don't know. It's it's a long game. You want to build a body of work that has multiple applications that people keep going back to. Especially again, this is a new thing for me. I I, I have stopped chasing big first weeks. Chasing big first weeks is a really easy way to both discourage yourself and mm -hmm. to also sort of lose sight of the picture. What you're doing is you're building a catalog that people reference for a bunch of different uses and that they want to stream for years and years and years and years and years. And if you can do that, you make a ton of money and you'll be very fulfilled.